You want to get personal. Where were you born? Huntsville, Alabama, but technically I don't remember that part. First job? Soldier, straight out of high school. Left the ranks of full bird colonel. Then? Spy. Where? It was the Cold War, we were everywhere. Now? Been riding the desk for the past six years, trying to figure out where our future enemies are coming from. Never occurred to me they would be coming from above. Name your first pet. Mr. Snoofers. Mr. Snoofers. That's what I said. Name a detail so bizarre a scroll could never fabricate it. A toast is cut diagonally, I can't eat it. You didn't need that, did you? No, no I didn't, but I enjoyed it. Okay, your turn. Prove you're not a scroll. Tell me about this dream. Anything new? No. You have to let go of the past. I got the file on you. What's it say? Big imagination, plays well with others. On March 8th. So how do you expect us to put the fate of the universe in the hands of one person? I don't think you have a choice. You're giving me orders now? Yeah. Yes. Hey everyone, welcome to BNN. My name is Ben. We have some new Captain Marvel footage to break down, and we also have some Avengers Endgame news to talk about. In this scene, you can clearly see that Carol Danvers is quote unquote interrogating Nick Fury, and Nick Fury is quote unquote interrogating Carol. So in other words, both of them are trying to figure out if they're a scroll or not. That's a total big plot to this thing is the scroll invasion. And Carol Danvers is literally trying to find out what's going on, why the scrolls are in Earth. And I think there's gonna be a big twist and plot. I think the Kree are gonna be the enemy and I think the scrolls are actually going to be the villains at first and then they're gonna, they're gonna actually be good people. Marvel has a very, very, very good habit of twisting plots towards the middle of the, of the film. So there is a direct connection from Captain Marvel to Avengers Endgame. We're gonna see Carol Danvers finish the movie leaving. In post credit scene, they're gonna show Carol Danvers meet up with the Avengers. They're either gonna show her meet the Avengers or they're gonna show her look at the pager and make a reaction of some kind. Now all this news about the Rotten Tomatoes uh, review going down, it's not a fake review, those are real. Sometimes the actor or actress who's just playing the character that we all love can jeopardize the character that we love. And I think that Brie Larson just has this sort of stuck up personality. Hollywood is big, so when somebody throws you up on a mountaintop, you get a little arrogant and you know, she'll humble out eventually. But some people didn't like Thor because they were like, yo, this guy just thinks he's all that, you know, blah, 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 blah. I didn't like Thor at all until I watched Thor Ragnarok movie. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, given time, Captain Marvel will be a success eventually. We have some Avengers Endgame to talk about. Just a small little detail that Kevin Feige said the other day. He talked about the title. He said that the title for Avengers 4 would be a spoiler to Infinity War. And everyone was trying to figure out how is Endgame a spoiler to Infinity War. What? Endgame? You know? He said the other day to comicbook.com, he said, but it was a spoiler because if you knew before Infinity War came out that the next movie was called Endgame, then you know that there wasn't an ending to Infinity War. But that had been the title of the movie from the moment we conceived of doing the two films. Endgame, total spoiler, especially if you saw the movie Infinity War, because once Doctor Strange says Endgame, now you know, ah, yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? And I think the hype was so good. They wanted just a trailer revealing the title. Like, that's just ridiculous. And then we have some news from Marvel about Phase 4 and what's going to happen after Far From Home. Everything after Endgame and after Spider-Man Far From Home will be different and be unique as we try to make every film. But seeing returning characters is certainly something we're going to do and want. To. But also introducing characters that, that the majority of the world has never heard of much like Guardians, much like Avengers before we made Avengers, and there are lots of them. Eternals are one group, but we like the idea of introducing an ensemble, doing an ensemble movie from the start, as opposed to build up as we did with the first Avengers, more like Guardians. Okay, 
they're gonna try this DC thing. Right off the bat, I don't think it's a really good idea to just introduce a group like that, because that's what DC does, and that's why DC does not work. If you put everyone in an ensemble movie immediately without building it up, in order to get that to happen, you need a really good script, just like Guardians of the Galaxy. The script made sense. Justice League didn't make sense. I think that if they write a really good script for something like that, then yeah. Uh, the next video, maybe in, a, maybe in a couple days or whenever I hear some big news of Marvel, but honestly, I don't think Captain Marvel is going to make more than 500 million, to be honest. I don't know about this this stuff about she don't like white men or whatever that was. You know, I don't really know the big story, but what I do know is that fans are upset at her and do not like her anymore like they do not like Brie Larson and it's messing with the character like Disney has to make her come out and apologize or something because people are literally only gonna watch this movie just for the post credit scene like literally but let me know what y'all think in the comments below like I said I want to do a giveaway so if y'all just start commenting I'll begin prepping this thing thank you all so much for watching this is BNN signing off